Hi, in this video we're going to look at a, a revamp and a rethink of, a, of an old uh, piece of functionality within Vue. Um, and uh, you'll see at the moment I've just got a very empty scene on my, my computer, just, just black. Uh, deliberately I've chosen um, uh, uh, photography uh, aspect ratio in uh, portrait so that you can see the, um, the framing strips. And what we're going to look at is uh, a function which is, has been uh, a little bit underdeveloped, I think, in the past. So we've re-looked at it, and we're going to uh, look today at the frame guides. The initial part of the frame guides, i.e. the action safe frame, title safe frame, remain the same. So if we just ignore those for the moment, nothing has changed there. What we've really looked at is the grid initially. If you remember previously, it was stuck at either 4 by 3 or 12 by 9 I want to say. I may be wrong. I'm sure somebody would be happy to correct me. Um, in fact, you don't need to because I just happen to have uh, <laughs> the very archaic looking 2016 uh, open at the same time. So let's just look at the, um, the frame guides here. So yes, it was uh, 4 by 3 and 12 by 9 and that was it that's what we were stuck to yes we could change the color of the of the um the lines themselves but that was it now in r9 uh, what we're looking at here is an expansion and a rethink to the grid first of all you'll see that the grid stays within the aspect ratio within the the, the render frame itself uh, in the old days, it used to extend past the frame guides uh, and therefore did not divide the use, you know, the working space up um, at all accurately. So we've uh, we've kept the framing guides within the framing strips. Makes sense. We've also made it so that you can change the number of lines. Notice we're not going with columns and rows. We're looking at lines here simply because... Uh, traditionally in a grid columns and rows we're filling in the boxes aren't we so the boxes are the most important aspect uh, in X, Excel or, or you know anything that use the where we create a grid in our particular instance what's more important are the lines themselves because they will donate uh, denote the um, the center of the picture uh, and any other relevant points that we choose to to look at so yes we can have vertical lines yes we can have horizontal lines on and off we can either manually put in the number of lines that we want I'll put five in there just to show you or we can just click up and drag and go up and down with the uh, triangles at the side so we can interactively choose how many cells we want We've also gone to the extent of looking at this in terms of a diagonal uh, breakup. Um, simply because sometimes we want odd things. <laughs> and there may be somebody out there who uses a diagonal grid on a regular basis for construction. Ours is not to reason why, but we figured more functionality is better than less. So it's the same as before. We can manually choose how many grid lines we want. And we can even have a combination of the two if that is something that you require. More importantly, we've added some new functionality into this, uh, this, these frame guides. And um, we've looked around and we've had requested in the past um, inclusion of the golden ratio. Now, some of you, a lot of you, I would imagine, will be familiar with the golden ratio. If you're not, there's plenty of information on the web. Um, you'll see it occurs in nature, in seashells, in um, uh, sunflower. The arrangements of sunflower seeds follows the golden ratio, more or less. And, of course, famous artists Vermeer and, and um, da Vinci have both used the golden spiral to compose images allegedly it's because um it's uh, it's proportionately pleasing to the human eye um 
and there's nothing else more than we can say about that other than I would advocate if you're going to play with it have a look online see what it's all about um, and let's go back to view so by default the spiral is switched on by default the spiral probably comes in in grey but I've been playing of course like you do um, again what you can't do with this in terms of positioning the spiral is probably not worth doing we've also included for the sake of of those people who who might demand it the golden section from which the spiral is derived as you can see the spiral fits from corner to corner corner to corner corner to corner all the way down in theory into infinity it's up to you again always personal preference which we strive to ensure that you've got as many options as you can possibly have uh, so you either work with the spiral or the section it's entirely up to you we can rotate it through 90 degrees we can um, locate it uh, vertically or horizontally what else can we say inscribe circumscribe again who knows how you're going to use this tool uh, my gut feeling is for me i would use it in this manner i.e within the frame but there may be a reason for you to want to circumscribe this with in other words um, takes it outside the frame prefer the inscribe personally we can manually change the shape now initially when i change the shape it looks uh, uh, size sorry uh, it looks like the spiral is just rotating it's not it's you know obviously increasing in size to take up more or less of the space let's put that back to 100 and then we can align it from any place on the uh, within the frame we can go left we can go center we can go right we can go bottom top uh, sorry center and top um, one thing that I think is, is rather nice is the interactive way in which we can locate and rotate so we can manually rotate the spiral if we want to have our focal point here and we're spiraling outwards um, it's, it's it's personal choice people and then of course we can offset it in other words we're looking at the center of the spiral we can move it in X either by clicking and dragging the triangles or if we are happy with you know we understand the coordinates within that space you've created um, just change it pixel by pixel or units of 10 it's entirely up to you and of course we can do the same in Y so if I just rotate that let's put it in the center and put it at the bottom and then I can show you how it moves up and down um, here's an interesting one basically by default it's made to fill the shape so sometimes you get a spiral which is smaller ie it stops after a certain number of revolutions but we can extend it to fit into the border and beyond if we so desire and again it's there by default it's a very useful tool especially if you are um, of the purest ilk if you've done art history if you've studied the the great masters um, and you can see the influence of the golden spiral within paintings um, it's a I find it to be quite a fascinating subject and uh, the fooling of the eye sometimes and remember what I've said before and I'll say it again if it looks right it is right please have a play see how it feels to you um, give us some feedback this is uh, an expansion of uh, functionality which is very close to my heart and I would love to hear how you're using it if you've got any comments about usability etc etc um, yeah look forward to hearing from you thanks for watching bye bye <music>